Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Hello, I hope you subscribe and stick around for more. In today's video, we are doing a HomeSense haul. I actually went to HomeSense a few weeks ago, but completely forgot to do a haul on it. So I've been desperately trying to find every single thing that I bought and uh, collectively make this haul for you guys. So this was my first time I'd ever been to home since before and all I'm saying is I cannot believe that I'd never been there before. They have so much choice, so many options, so much cute stuff. I feel like sometimes it's nice that we have shops like Ikea where there's trendy, new, modern kind of looking things, but sometimes it's also nice to go into a shop like HomeSense where it's just full of completely random stuff. Things that not everybody has, there's not very many of them, it's just nice to have something that you think, well, that is me. Without further ado, if you'd like to see this home sense haul, just continue to watch the video. I'm going to start off with the first thing that I literally picked up when I walked in the shop, this candle. Now, I'm not going to lie about it, I have, um, I've lit her, she's basically empty. I'm going to be reusing this candle, just because I get really cute candles on purpose, just so I can reuse them and make them into like other useful things. This one was $7.99, to be honest this was a very expensive candle, however it smells delicious. This is a lemon and amber scent, this is so strong. I feel like sometimes like you get candles from like home bargains and things and as much as they are cute, they are not nearly as strong smelling and they also leave like a lot of black residue everywhere. You meant to buy soy wax candles because apparently that is the best kind of burning stuff that won't like infest your lungs with black smoke. I also got two more of these which I can't find but there were so many options of candles. I literally filmed the whole thing. I was like, oh my God, I want every single candle available but I got, I think I got three all together just because I knew that um I did not really want to spend more than like 25 pound on candles. I didn't really want to spend more than five pound on a candle, but here we are. So. I also got a few little, what are these called? Like room sprays, room smellies. Fun fact about this one, uh, I actually chipped my shower glass with this. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that until I did it. I literally caught it by accident. I was just spraying the bathroom for non-related smell reasons. Accidentally caught the corner of it on my shower glass and have chipped it. Yeah, so if you want some like really high quality glass sprays. This is the Pex Sniff, Pex Sniff. I'm acting like I can read it, but I can't, but this is Tobacco and Whitewood Room Spray, originally retailing at 16 pounds and is down to 4.99. So I felt like it was a good bargain. She smells delicious. This, oh my god. This actually smells like a hotel, so I was very pleased with this. It smells almost quite masculine. I'm not a huge fan of super sweet house smells. I also got another room spray. This one is more of like an aromatherapy kind of spray. This one was, again, $4.99. This is room spray in jasmine. <laughs> Who knew I smelled so good? I really like spraying this in the bedroom. Not so much around the house, just because I feel like it doesn't have, I don't know if anybody else gets this, but for me, smells mean different things. And this kind of smell is like really calming and like relaxing. I don't know. But again, for $4.99, I mean, to be honest, this one's probably a little bit better value for money. Cause like, look how many mils we get in this. That's 200 mil. This is 100 mil. So realistically, I probably got a better offer on this. And it was originally 16 pound, but it just looks super cute. So yeah, these two room sprays. There was also so many other room sprays but again I tried to like restrain myself and now I'm just currently clocking I've spent 10 pound on room sprays 25 pound on candles moving on to other things that I bought I bought this I'm trying not to get a reflection this is so cute I actually didn't find this Kai found this and was like whoa can we have this is this allowed I was like yeah this is so cute this was Got the receipts. Oh, this was $12.99. So again, super cute. The frame, like the quality is so nice. And it's more, I don't know if you can really see it. It's like a cut out from a canvas and then stuck in. It's really cute. I don't know what it is, but I feel like this is so elegant, classy looking painting. It's not super nude, but you know, it's like, oh, oh, we're classy. Cause you have naked women on your wall. So yeah, that's the kind of people we are. However, it doesn't come with a back. So I have used Christmas ribbon. If I am in need of ribbon this year, I know where it's gone. Lots of other designs as well. There was other outlines and there was also lots of canvases, lots of like cows and chickens and sheep. Not really my style, but I felt like if you had like that barn kind of style, that would definitely look cute. Okay, moving on to some kitchenware. Um, I kind of went a bit ham in this area just because I did a bit of research recently and scared the absolute daylights out of myself about how toxic non-stick saucepans can be. So I naturally went on a tangent and found an alternative to that while still being non-stick without the toxic chemicals. 
step in my ceramic pots. These pots have been used, so they are a little bit, you know, not, not so new looking anymore. But yeah, so this is my favorite pot on the whole entire planet. This one comes with a lid. This one was 19.99, so it was 20 pounds, but originally this retailed for 35 pounds. So again, I feel like we got a bargain. Comes with a very cute lid. And again, like I said, this is non-stick without the toxic chemicals. So it's got ceramic coating inside of it. to stop things from sticking on it. So I'm super pleased with this. I don't know why I feel the need to get giant pots, even though I only ever cook for two people. But I don't know, I guess it stops me from spilling everything because if you don't know, I am genuinely the messiest cook on the entire planet. So there you go. They also did this in yellow and I was like, ew, so I got blue. I also got a frying pan and not just because it was in pink or anything, but uh, yeah, this is also a ceramic one. This one was $12.99, which I thought was a really good price. I think the original price of this was like 23 to 25 pounds. So again, we got ourselves an absolute bargain. And this is a very large frying pan. I'm very pleased with it. And again, it matches my blue one that I've already got. So I'm just very, look at that. That I just, that, that what is my dishwasher doing? It's not doing it right. One thing that I did discover with these kind of ceramic saucepans is you can damage the coat. So you have to purchase some silicon, what are these called, utensils. That's not so bad for me because I prefer to use them anyway because wood ones kind of like absorb the dishwasher and then when you cook them they smell and kind of make your food taste like dishwasher. I don't know if anyone else can relate to that but. And I don't really want to use metal utensils because they're gonna like take up the, the ceramic coating which we don't want because then it becomes non-stick and then it's like we just defeated the whole purpose of them. These two are both heat resistant and they are super easy to wash. You literally just wipe them and they're so clean, it's so easy. They don't smell or taste like a dishwasher which is a, a, a obvious bonus and you can use them for everything it's not like you just have to use them for cooking you use them for like baking and all sorts of stuff so i got the green spatula spoon type thing this one was 3.99 and then this one was also 3.99 so i got the spoon and then i also got the tongs i really wanted the tongs in pink but i couldn't find them so i've got green and yellow um to be honest the colors don't really uh, I keep trying to convince myself that it doesn't, but it does. So I'll probably go back and get more anyway, but these are honestly my new holy grail to cooking. And if anybody else loves to cook and also loves to live a good, healthy life, TK Maxx are currently selling ceramic coated stuff. <laughs> Another thing I purchased was these. These are obviously oven mitts, but I am really fussy with oven mitts. I bought some previously like this and I accidentally may have left them on the hob when it was on and burnt them. Again, problematic cook, but it's fine. I then bought the all-in-one oven mitt and I just hated it because I felt like it kept getting in the way. So I got these little tiny individual ones and I love them so much because I feel like I can do stuff and they're like not super chunky and heavy on my hands where they kind of get in the way. These were only $5.99 and I was very pleased with my purchase. There were other designs again. They had like cows and ducks and stuff and I was like, ew. Um, not really an animal theme kind of person. I'm not really a striped blue kind of person either, but I felt like these ones were a little bit more like subtle than the other ones. There was also loads of fake flowers that I really, really wanted some peonies. My favorite color of peonies is white or pink. They didn't have them what they wanted. There was loads of roses. There was loads of like tulip looking stuff. They also have plenty of vases to pick from. Again, I'm super fussy with things and refuse to buy them just for the sake of buying them. I'd rather buy it and keep it than buy it and have to return it. One of the last things that I purchased was this plant pot. This is so cute because it has not only a plant pot but also like a little tray for the plant pot. So it's got a hole in the bottom so any excess water can be drained from my plant and it's not going to drown. You know sometimes they drown but I have waited obviously like I said weeks to do this video because I completely forgot that I was meant to do this video. Um, <laughs> So it just shows how productive I am with my time. But this was only $5.99. There were a billion and one different types of plant pots. They had huge ones, like massive ones that you could put in your garden or in front of your house. And I really, really wanted them, but I just can't justify putting it in front of my house considering my neighbors just took their Christmas decorations down. Like what would be the point? They also had lots of outdoor furniture and lots of outdoor ornaments. There was such cute furniture. It was really adorable. Lots of colors. It was so pretty looking. They also had loads of giant pieces of furniture. It's like sofas, side tables, there were bars and I really really wanted one but once again I couldn't justify it. I feel like once I've got the new kitchen then I can start to buy new furniture.
furniture for the dining room because it's just not gonna match or else and I'm just gonna be like so mad that I bought all the stuff and wasted all this money. But yeah, there was loads of stuff to pick from. Mirrors, pictures, rugs. There was honestly so much choice. And to be honest, I was kind of overwhelmed by the choice. Normally I'm quite happy walking into places that have problematic layouts or lots of stuff just like to overwhelm you with. But I actually felt super overwhelmed going in there. So much choice that I kind of like couldn't filter through it. So I felt like they had lots of weird things that you didn't realize you needed until you got there. But definitely not my favorite shop on the planet. But yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite part was and that's it. So love to see you. Bye. Life right now is a movie. Ah, oh, yeah. Wish the soundtrack was groovy. Too bad. I'm frustrated. I'm moody. Ah, oh, yeah. Just me.